Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Lee Newton. And I'm handsome. Reunited, and it, sing with me, five. Uh, reunited, and it feel, now you're not singing. I know. Oh Jesus, do the intro. Five things you missed this week. Number one, McDonald's is reportedly trying to trademark the term McBrunch, not necessarily because they want to create McBrunch menu items, but because they routinely file intent to use trademark applications. If that's the case, then you guys should really try and snag McPuke, McBarf, and McHurl. And also McPoop, McSquirts, and McRegret. You might as well get the whole eating McDonald's cycle. You're welcome. You're welcome. Number two, a man who is obviously a massive Pokemon fan, evident by his Pikachu hat, t-shirt, and Pikachu plush toy was arrested this week for trespassing in the White House garden. The man scaled the fence but was swiftly tackled by the Secret Service. Not on our watch, said these guys. Or they said, gotta catch them all. <laughs> or they said, you Pikachu's the wrong fence to jump over, kid. Time to stop. I think it's time to stop. Yeah, I took the joke a step too far. Yeah. Number three, in drug news, a man was arrested this week for selling an undercover cop cocaine, or rather, a crushed up Pop-Tart that he sold as cocaine. Again, the undercover cop bought it, so something tells me that the war on drugs is gonna be a long one. Yeah, but at least they got a delicious bender. Right? Number four, another Facebook blunder. This week, Grandmaster Flash is getting a lot of Facebook love from grandmas who are just trying to type in grandma, but then accidentally autofill Grandmaster Flash. Here to read some of these actual Facebook posts, my grandma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Timothy. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? Love Grandmaster Flash. Hi Gabriel, I loved our ladies day out. You have my love and best wishes. <laughs> love Grandmaster Flash. Logan, Grandpa and I are praying for you as you embark on your college career. Grandpa says to keep your nose clean and your spirits up. Love Grandpa and Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my grandma, everybody. Oh. And number five, researchers in Britain enlisted the sexpertise of five couples to find out which sexual positions were the worst positions for men with bad backs. Couples engaged in five different positions and perverted scientists monitored spine movement. Out of the five sexual maneuvers, they found that contrary to popular belief, the spooning position is actually the worst, while doggy style was the least detrimental to the spine. But we here at SourceFed want you all to know that the absolute best sexual position is abstinence. abstinence.